Hey there, this is Tyler with the Papercut support team. Welcome back to the two-part video on customizing your Papercut user interface. In this video, we'll be covering the advanced configurations that you can apply to bring your UI to the next level. If you haven't had a chance to watch our first video covering the basic configurations yet, feel free to click the card at the top to check that out first. You'll recall from our first video that we're trying to get the Papercut University installation to match the school's blue, white, and gray color scheme. We've already applied custom logos in our user client, admin interface, reports, and end user web interface. But the web user interface looks like it still has some of the default Papercut color scheme showing. And the links in our client software are a little hard to read on our gray background. First, we'll fix that user interface with a custom CSS file. Then, we'll cover the extra configurations we can make in the user client config.properties file to get that looking on brand as well. Before we begin, I'd like to recommend installing a code sensitive text editor like Visual Studio Code, Atom, or Sublime. This will help a lot when modifying the files for this video. Despite us being technical administrators willing to conquer even the most advanced configurations out there, that doesn't mean that we have to build our CSS file from scratch. We'll actually want to make a copy of the file that Papercut actively uses to edit and apply our color scheme. To find this file, head over to the Papercut installation path. Within the installation path, click server, then temp, then web app. There should be some numbers trailing the web app folder name. In there, you can navigate to the CSS folder, and then find the file called userrefresh.css. Open that with your text editor. You should run your text editor with admin permissions for this, so you can save into the application's install path after we make our changes. In this CSS file, there are going to be three colors that we want to find and replace all instances of. The first is Papercut's blue-gray color for the sidebar. We'll do a control F for the value 0F1E2C and replace all occurrences with our gray color. Next, there's the Papercut green color, which will be used for the accents on that toolbar. We want to replace this with Papercut University's blue, so we'll search the document for 00AE5B and replace it with our blue 3A8FC6. Finally, we have the link hover color. I have a slightly alternate blue that I'll use for this one. I'm going to find and replace the value 62BB46 with our blue. Now that the customizations have been made, I'll click Save As on this document. We're going to rename this file user3.css and then save it to the directory server slash custom slash web. Next up is our user config.properties file. Back out to the main papercut directory. This time, we'll actually head into the client folder, followed by the OS type of your user client machines. In this case, it's the win folder. Here, we should see a file called config, or if you have file extensions enabled in your file explorer, config.properties. Open this with your text editor, again using admin permissions. Now we'll scroll down and find the values background color, text color, link color, and link hover color. We've already set our background color, and the default red is great for the negative balance value, so I'll be changing the text, link, and link hover to something new, while leaving the rest default. I want my text to really pop with the gray background, so I'm going to set these two values to white. I think that the link hover color would be really cool in our blue color, so I'll add that as well. In this case, we're just going to be using the hex value without the leading hash mark, since everything after the hash mark will be commented out. On that note, we should uncomment the color configuration so that the client can read our changes. We'll save, and we should be good to go. Now, our user client is looking great with the white text on the gray background. Let's check out the end user web interface to see our CSS changes. We'll give this a quick login and see that our toolbar now has the fighting platypus blue as its accent color, as do all of the buttons and controls. Now, our user interfaces are looking great and truly fit our organization's custom color scheme. If you have any questions regarding your Papercut user interface or anything else regarding your Papercut system, head over to www.papercut.com support. There you'll find tons of useful resources, including manual entries and knowledge base articles. And if you need, you can reach out to our support team directly from that page. 
Thanks for watching and have a great day.